Hello everybody, in this Rhino 8 video demo, I would like to show how we can create stylized hand sketch like renders similar to the one as shown on screen here. Okay, let's start. What I have on screen is a model that I have created quite some time ago and I would like to generate stylized hand sketch like render from it. The first thing I will need to do is to create a name view of the desired viewing angle and to do that I can go to set view name views and then click on this icon and give a name to the desired viewing angle maybe I call it uh, view dash one click OK now the next thing I need to do is to type set flare at the command prompt and this will allow us to set different flash styles to the viewport and it should be noted that individual flash styles produces differing results on different viewport display modes okay let's click on this and maybe uh, go through the different style this is cartoon maybe I change it to a ray trace display mm, I think let's set to the render mode it looks better this way okay I think the background is like too dark what I'm going to do is I'm going to type ground plane and set the background to white okay so this will uh, assist in the blending of the viewport capture later on see how it looks like in the ray trace I think I still prefer the render look ok now let's run through the various uh, flash styles ok the color sketch this is how it looks like colorized Davinci, Noah, I think it's called Noah, Painted, Pencil Sketch. I think I'll go for the cartoon look. And I would like to capture this viewport and save it to a file. And over here you can see that we can set to different type of resolution. I think I'll use the custom resolution. Click OK and then save it onto a location on the hard drive. Maybe I will call it something like flare one. Okay, I want to create two or three more flare effects look and then combine those images using an image editor but before that what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set the material to be opaque so that I can blend the transparent and the opaque material into a more stylized look again I want to capture the viewport by clicking on this icon and save it as a different file Let's call it flare-2.jpg and let's create one more stylized look maybe not this okay maybe I'll use the painted flare click on this icon save this image or rather this viewport as a captured image ok now let's head to an image editor in this case uh, I'm using affinity photo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the three captured image views
maybe I will use flat tool as the base and stack the two other JPEG image on top of it copy paste onto flare dash tool as a layer above it and what I'm going to do is going to use the opacity value and the blend mode to create a more interesting or desired effect I also pasted flat tree onto flat dash to file and going to use the various blend mode and the opacity value to composite this tree image into a more interesting or desired look. As there are no hard and fast rule over here, um, I'm not going to dictate like how or what steps that you should adopt to create the effect okay um, it's all rather experimental for me now I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you will be able to do a better job than me okay maybe I'll settle for something like that and then with that I come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you bye